Hi, I'm Arielle Zwang, and I'm the CEO of Safe Horizon. Safe Horizon is the largest nonprofit provider of victim services in the country. Every year, we touch the lives of 250,000 people whose lives have been affected by violence, crime, and abuse. In 1978, there was a study done in the Brooklyn Criminal Courts that found that witnesses in violent crimes were not coming to court to testify, and the case would have to be thrown out. It turned out that this was because the witness was, in fact, the victim of the crime and had to wait outside the courtroom all day long next to the person who had committed a crime against her. And for a lot of victims, they said, you know what, it's not worth it. I'm not doing that. And so Safe Horizon was born. We opened waiting centers in the courts and children's centers, too, where victims and their children could wait safely until their case was called and have their day in court. Our goal is to be open and available to every victim of crime and abuse who needs our help. We serve victims of child abuse, domestic violence, rape and sexual assault, and human trafficking, and we help people heal and rebuild their lives. Besides being the largest provider of victim services in the country, we also are dedicated to innovation, excellence, and providing our clients with services that we know are as effective as is humanly possible. The field of victim services is only about 40 years old, and Safe Horizon has been at the forefront of our field, leading the way in excellence of practice, in research about our work, and in measuring our outcomes. I often think about one woman we know named Maya. She got married when she was still a teenager, but what started off as what seemed like a lot of interest soon became very controlling. He even cut her off from her family and he would get jealous and fly into rages. As the years went on, the violence escalated and it did become physical. And at a certain point, he began beating her and the three children watched. The commotion caused the police to be called and Maya then began the journey to get the help that she needed. She realized that what she was enduring, her children were enduring as well. And that's when she said, this is enough. And so she came to Safe Horizon to one of our shelters, and we helped her over a period of years. She's now studying in college to work with children, and she has a safe and full life with her children. The Centers for Disease Control says that one in four American women in her lifetime will experience domestic violence. At Safe Horizon, we're the largest provider of victim services in the country, but we need your help to reach everyone who needs our help. Thank you.